Muggy weather today was a good day. If you don't and you really like hot, dry weather, I mean really hot lens, <laughs> then stick around for the weekend. Stick around for the weekend. That's right. The dew points are going to fall, which means the humidity is going to fall heading into the weekend, but it's only going to allow our temperature to boost up to 110. And that's where we're going to stay for the foreseeable future right on through the holiday weekend. Here's an hour by hour look at our holiday tomorrow, crossing over the 100 degree mark by 11 in the morning. The hottest part of the day between three and five. That's where we'll near 110. We are looking at a completely dry day. As far as our average high is concerned, 107 right now. The hottest 4th of July we've ever seen in Phoenix. That was 118. It happened back in 1989. And in the last 124 years, on 18 of those years, we have seen measurable rain. No measurable rain for the 4th of July this year. Some cooler temperatures Temperatures up further to the north. Flagstaff's going to be in the 80s all weekend. Saturday and Sunday in the White Mountains, highs will be in the 70s, so much more comfortable there. Still pretty warm out near Sedona. Highs will be near 100. And along the rim, we're talking low to mid 80s Saturday and Sunday. A little bit of shower activity this afternoon on the radar. A lot of this is going to die down, especially after sunset. Nothing severe is anticipated. Looking ahead to our monsoon meter for tomorrow, an isolated shower in the White Mountains, the rest of the state looking dry as high pressure strengthens. It's going to boost our temperatures up to 110 Saturday and 111 degrees on Sunday. The only days on the seven day forecast below 110 are looking ahead to next Wednesday and Thursday. Otherwise, we are completely dry in the valley for the next seven days. We're helping you understand the power of Arizona's monsoon, so be sure to at 10 in the morning and 630 in the evening for the 12 News Monsoon 2020 special. You'll see just how the storms form, the powerful winds, lightning, rain, and walls of dust they can produce. And learn some important information on how to keep your family safe as well. Again, that is this Sunday right here on 12 News. All right, Lance, thanks. Still ahead on 12 News at 5, we'll introduce you to the newest addition to the Wildlife World Zoo. i tell you how this little bison is connected to the upcoming holiday.
And finally, meet the newest member at the Wildlife World Zoo, a little baby bison. The little calf was born just two days ago. Just in time for Independence Day, bison are considered America's national mammal. Congress passed the National Bison Legacy Act four years ago, making the bison a U.S. symbol of unity and resilience. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here for 12 News at 6.